back to my channel so today i will be sharing the complete cognizant gen c hiring process via superset uh, from registration to the receiving letter of intent everything in detail so without wasting any more time let's start the video the cognizant gen c hiring process via superset includes several important steps here is a quick overview of this journey so step one is the registrations on superset Make sure to fill all the required details, upload your updated resume, and complete the application form before the deadlines. Step second is a screening round. After registration, Congress and does an initial screening based on your academic scores, resume, and college eligibility. Once shortlisted, you will receive the assessment details via Superset email or a dashboard notification. Step three is a round one, which is communication assessment. This is an AI based online test to evaluate your spoken English skills including fluency, grammar and pronunciation. So make sure to use a good mic and quiet room for this round. Then section 3 which is round 2 aptitude and technical assessment. This round is conducted online via the superset portal and it is divided into two parts. First part is the aptitude test and second is the technical assessment. Now let's cover uh, the aptitude test. which covers logical reasoning quantitative aptitude and basic problem solving uh, skills part 2 is a technical assessment you will be assigned a, or can choose one of the three technical skill clusters based on your academic background okay now let's talk about one of the most important part of the assessment the technical skill cluster in the second round of the cognizant gen c assessment you will be asked to choose one skill cluster out of the three available options think of this cluster like different technical path based on what programming language and tools you are most comfortable with so here's the here's the breakdown of all the three cluster so skill cluster 1 is a default option which is default cluster so this cluster is best for who like java developers and web developers languages included are java sql html css and javascript and in assessment section there is java coding you will be given coding problems to solve using java second is a sql so where you solve queries and database problems and third is a web ui questions on html css and javascript so if you have studied java in a college and are comfortable with front end basics this cluster is a safe choice second is a skill cluster 2 uh, which is python plus cloud so in python uh, in assessment section python coding solve basic to intermediate python problem second is a sql where you write queries based on given problems and uh, in last cloud fundamental mcqs where multiple choice questions on basic cloud computing questions so if you like working with python and have a understanding of cloud basics like aws azure or google cloud then this is a great option for you and last is a skill cluster 3 which is c sharp and web which is best for uh, who loves c sharp c sharp with a web development skills a language is included which is c sharp sql html css and javascript so uh, in assessment section there is a c sharp coding with the coding question based on c sharp uh, then second is a sql where you can solve database queries and problem solving skills and lastly web ui or uh, the questions on like html css and javascript basics so if you if you are someone from a dot net background or you have practiced c sharp then this cluster is perfectly suits you so the total time you will get 120 minutes to complete all the three sections of the cluster you choose my tip is that choose the cluster based on your strongest skill set don't just go with the default pick the one where you feel most confident in both theory and practical coding it can be a big difference section 5 which is round 3 offline technical interviews so if you clear round 2 you will be invited for an offline technical interview at designated center so based on your performance you will be categorized into gen c gen c pro or gen c next this level offers different responsibilities and packages section 6 is a final step like letter of intent once you clear the interview round 
you will receive your letter of intent via super set or email this confirms your selection and means your offer letter will follow soon after that's it for today's video uh, i hope you now clearly understand the entire process of congress and chelsea if you would like a detailed video where i share my personal experience of uh, on the communication assessment aptitude assessment and technical coding round let me know in the comments uh, i will be definitely make a video on that so if you would if you found this video helpful then don't forget to like share and subscribe for more such a content until then keep learning and keep growing bye